I've done a previous video showing you guys how to use Explore in Google Sheets. That tool has been around for a while, but they recently added it to Docs. And so I wanted to show you how cool Explore was in Google Docs. So here I have a document open, and it's uh, about solving exponential equations using logarithms. Everyone's favorite topic. And uh, if I wanted to know some more information about this particular topic, whether I was extending my research for a paper, if that's what my Google Doc contained, or in this case, I needed to know more about exponentials, um, I can click the Explore button that is down in the bottom right-hand corner of your doc screen. So when I click that, it opens up a sidebar. What it does is it looks at first topics that I have in my particular document. I can always find more topics by clicking more. It also shows me images related to those particular topics. I can open them a little bit larger and I can even insert them right from here. Um, and then it also gives me some more research. It searches the web for me. So if I wanted to, if I was um, a student and I was working on this and I said I have a hard time understanding what a natural logarithm is, I can click that link and it will open it up for me. So this is a really handy tool for you because uh, you can use it to extend your document without actually having to leave your document. Another cool thing about the Explore tool in Docs is that you can search more specifically. So it gives me a couple of topics. Let's say I wanted to search for exponential growth. What it does is it shows me the results for exponential growth. That wasn't a topic that it picked up on, but it's one that is related to, to my work. Um, I can also see the images that show up for exponential growth as well as, this is really cool, your drive things that match exponential growth. So I see I have a lot of documents that have exponential growth in it. What's really nice is that I could choose to add those things in. Here's a video, I could link to that if I wanted to. So that's using the Explore tool in Google Docs. Once you decide you don't want to see it anymore, you can always X out of it. But um, it's actually, I think, going to transform the use of Google Docs, especially in the classroom, so I'm excited about it and felt I just had to share.